Robin was making a reference to how much of a gap do England have till their next game. Possible hamstring recovery for Jason Roy. Well, that's where they're playing today. They're playing on the 18th, yeah. which is on Tuesday. Um, but remember, 18th Trafford. is Afghanistan. They probably tell themselves Afghanistan, Sri Lanka may not be their toughest opponents. If I have to, if, if I mean, if there are two matches in which I have to lose, you know, two players or rest them, you can't find better matches in Afghanistan, Sri Lanka in this draw right now. As the, now. the big it's one is strange, Australia on the yeah. 25th. So obviously they want to be ready for Australia, but you know, it's just strange. If you look over the last week or so, this World Cup's been ridden with rain and injuries. You know, every like it's like every other game, something or the other is happening. It's quite strange. You know, it's. Uh, the players, the rest, the rest of the contingents, I think, within within the World Cup, I think all of them will be really concerned about you know how their teams are moving forward. I know the physios would be psyched out of this. You know, they'd be really worried as to what's going on. Why is everyone getting injured? Yep, you know, must be. It must just must definitely have something to do with the weather as well because it's cold out there. You know, you're not as warm as you think you are. You probably have certain routines that you follow, and then sometimes in this kind of conditions, it is. Irrespective of you being born or in that place, sometimes you don't you you realize that what you're doing is probably not enough for that day. You probably need to do a little bit more. So I think it's also time for all the athletes there playing the World Cup to be more cognizant about how they are about their body. You know where they are. If they're actually warmed up, if they're ready to go, if they're not, how much. You know, in every game, after every game, there are micro tears, there are little little issues because oh, there are only six days in an entire year an athlete plays injury free. Otherwise, he's always getting some form of niggle uh, or the other. So you know, on I think in in times like this, in tournaments like this, athletes and players need to be more aware of that and more cognizant of making sure that they're 100% fit. At least from England's point of view, I was going to actually ask Cheekily if rain has any correlation with hamstrings. <laughs> if, that, if that was the case, then everyone would be down with hammies at least this week. But given the fact that you've got, say, someone like a Mitchell Marsh flying out as a replacement, Richard Pant probably on a flight as well, at least for England, they know that if they have to look for replacements, it's just a drive away. Yeah, it's just a drive away. They're probably playing county cricket. It's county cricket in its full swing right now. Of course, given the weather, not much of it. Any cricket is in full swing. but. They have players who are ready, who are playing, who are just a phone call away. It's not that difficult for them. So yeah, they have that advantage. And secondly, they have so much depth right now that they will do nothing stupid. They'll say, we're not going to bother about anything because we can call up anyone literally on the last minute. Let's not make any changes. We've got two relatively easy games. By easy games, I mean compared to the rest of the draw, these are the easier games coming up. Let's just see these through. If we can seal these three, then you know we'll wait for Australia and then see what happens on that end. 7, 10, 12 days is a long, long time. By the 25th yeah. is a long time. Yeah, Jofra, of course, post the uh, innings was asked and he said, look, there are a couple of players who are hurting, but everyone wants to be on the park. That's the feeling in the England dressing room. So that's what we feel with Owen Morgan and Jason Roy. Time comes, they will be out there batting.